Hello, my people, Charlie. It's been a while. I miss y'all, and I know you miss me too. We've been working. Big big boys no one do your work. Everybody be on the level with Charlie. I love that. It keeps the entertainment industry moving. And that's something for, for me at the lower. But hey, we're back. And I feel good to be back already. Guys, last week, American hip hop artist, Jaru, for those of us who grew up on his song, yeah, Mesmerize, Charlie. I mean, the, the Gen Z generation, they are really say most of you will be like, ah, who this? Yeah, but back in the days, that'd be the artist we didn't listen to. So he was in Ghana last week, and not because he wanted to party. Because over the period, it has always been Ghana is the destination for Dirty December. Let's go and party. So when the African Americans come down here, the narrative is always, oh, Ghana, they don't sleep. It's a party zone. When you go there, you can party from morning to the next morning, and we're tired. We don't want that narrative out there. So for me, when I heard that Jaru was coming to town, I was super happy, especially when he was coming to do a project. So he's partnering with Pencil of Promise, a charity institution in America. And then what they intend to do is they want to build a classroom block for people of Noaso in the Eastern region. So Mandem was there. And as always, we saw the creative industry, Socrates Safo, and a host of others with him. And then they went to Noaso to start the whole project. So ideally, guys would be like, ah, but I'll be this one, it'd be cool. So why you want to be ball? Why you want to be hot takes? But it's simple. We read the details of the story and we realized that it was an 80% partnership between. Pencil of Promise, and then Jaru. So somebody will ask the 20% of whose shoulders would the 20% lie? Then our dig is, it came out that the 20% lies on the shoulders of the people of Inuaso in the Eastern region. So it means that Jaru and a Pencil of Promise, together, they will make sure that whatever they need to get that classroom block into light, they will do it. But the 20%, i.e. in terms of labor, those who take care of the people who be working on the ground, like water, and then their feeding and all that, that is the 20%. But that's where me, my problem is. And my problem is not with Jaru and then Pencil of Promise. I'm sounding this caution to the people of Nuaso. Because we've seen it before and we've heard it in the past, where projects like this, where it is going to benefit the, the people on the ground, they always this half saying, it is going to benefit us, but I should be paid for it because you can't tell me I should wake up, go to the grounds, fetch water, help with the, the process, and then I don't get paid for it. That is typical of a Ghanaian. And that is why I'm sounding this caution to the people of Nuaso that we don't want that attitude going forward because we don't want it 12 months, 18 months down the line. We'll go back and check and then the conversation will be like, oh, our people are reluctant to work simply because they think uh, because this is an American rapper, he has money, so there should be money allocated for people who work. No. You need classroom law in the community and he has decided to come and help. So the, the rest the responsibility is on you, the people, the chief, opinion leaders, the people of Nuaso, come together and start doing something. Don't, don't let the whole thing seem as if, uh, yes, you said you wanted to help us, but you helped us 80% and you, you didn't complete the entire 100%. And so if we are not able to meet you, then it's not our fault. We will blame you. And that is why I'm sounding this caution again and again to the chief of Nuaso, opinion leaders, those who matter in the community, let the people know that this is good for the community and we all need to come together and work so that a year, two years down the line, when we go back, we'll be proud of what we have achieved. Now, aside that, let's say that 20% is too huge for the people of Nuaso. We have artists 
in Ghana. I'm not saying they are not doing well. Some artists are doing fantastic. When you go to the communities, they are helping, developing their various communities. I love that. But I'm also saying that the 20%, we can equally have artists from the Eastern region who will also say that it is 20% lying on the shoulders of the people of Noaso. But we, as an artist who hails from the Eastern region, I will also support you with food. These artists are influencers. These artists, on any day, can influence any product. So you can also say, that as part of contributing my quota, since I hail from the Eastern region, see, you must not necessarily hail from Nwaso. Once you are from the Eastern region, this is a good call. So our Ghanaian artists, especially those who hail from that part, even if you don't hail from that part, you can also take that responsibility. Because here, somebody will argue that if you put the entire 20% at the doorstep of the people of Nwaso, let's go and check what is your standard of living like. That is where the artists will come in. These brands will be happy to work with you. So for me, Jaru has started a good initiative. He said, together with Pencil of Promise, they will contribute 80%. The 20%, I think, is a call on everybody, especially the artists who hail from the Eastern region, and then the people of Noaso. Because this will go a long way to help all of us. If governments that we've had in the past, if they had always told this line, you and I wouldn't be having the conversation. But here we are. They have failed to do the basic for us. So at the end of the day, if somebody is helping, we should also meet the person halfway. And I'm saying this. If you're an artist and you heard from the history region, or you are from Noaso, don't let Jaru be disappointed. Because mind you, this is a big test for a real test for us. To see whether really we are responsible enough. Because gentlemen could have come in in December to party and go. You know, go feed do am anything. But he has decided to support you. We've seen African Americans do it. That's why I, I told you from the onset that they are doing well, but I think they can do more. The conversation should always not be, you come to Ghana right from Kotoka, you go to Cape Coast, go and see where the slaves dungeon was, how it was like. You cry from crocodile tears, take pictures. Some of them say they shake their booty and tears. The last video I see, I'm vexed. How can you do that to our ancestors? So if this gentleman has decided that he's not going to toe that line, we should make sure that the step he took would not be in vain. So people of Noaso, if you're an artist and you hail from the Eastern region, I don't want to put you guys your name there, but you know, make sure it's a priority that the classroom block will come into light. Guys, I shall say you say a few ball passes there. But uh, yeah, if you disagree, as always, you know how we do it. Unapologetic. We will say it exactly as it is. If you bore, go to the comment section. Drop your comments. I will date there the word you this time. I know say you miss me. I miss you too. So this has been the hot takes with me, Nanaya outside. Catch me on the flip side for another hot, hot, hot thing. We are. YTV. Yearn for more.